I don't say this lightly. Evil has seized the Republican Party. Check it out. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. I, I, this is just breathtaking. You know, the, the Republican Party. I mean, it, we have seen this repeatedly throughout history. When a political party or a government ultimately decides that they exist solely to serve the, the interests of the wealthy and the powerful, of the billionaires and the corporations, and the people catch on and that party or government starts to lose popular support, invariably, they turn to authoritarianism and police violence. That is absolutely the direction that they go. And we saw this when Ron DeSantis yesterday sent state police with guns drawn into the homes of uh, Rebecca Jones, uh, this woman that had worked on compiling COVID statistics for the state. And when she was ordered to lie to the people of the state of Florida about how many people were getting sick and how many people were dying, she refused and DeSantis fired her. And so she started her own COVID tracking Florida coronavirus ta uh, da dashboard. Uh, so, you know, this is DeSantis going all authoritarian goon. We saw it when Donald Trump uh, committing, a, committing multiple felonies that you or I would have gone to prison for when he called up uh, governors and state legislators and others and said, please flip the election results and people in charge of the elections, the secretaries of state. You don't do that. It's a crime tampering with elections. We see it in Michigan where the Macomb County uh, Republican Party seems to share a postal address with the uh, right-wing so-called Stop the Steal group that showed up to try to threaten and with guns to threaten and intimidate the Secretary of State and her four-year-old son as they were preparing to watch The Grinch That Stole Christmas. We saw it when Republicans wear, you know, wearing swastikas and carrying Confederate flags invaded the Michigan State Capitol and then tried to kidnap and assassinate Gretchen Whitmer, the governor. We saw it when Lindsey Graham yesterday said to Georgia Republicans that if they don't support Trump's brutal authoritarianism and crimes and coup attempt, they're not going to get Republican votes. I mean, threats and violence are the new coin of the realm in Republican land. And, you know, because the GOP only serves great wealth, back in the spring, I believe it was March, I believe it was April, excuse me, uh, but maybe May, um, when the Fed created $7 trillion out of thin air and used it to buy corporate stocks and bonds, bringing the stock market back up and keeping it on a trajectory, it's now at record levels. When that happened, the Republican Party said, well, rich people are good now. Screw everybody else. And Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the Senate have refused to pass any, A-N-Y, any legislation that has to do with, you know, helping average people. And John Cornyn came out yesterday and said, well, you know, we want limitations on liability for employers. In other words, we want to make it illegal for workers to sue their employers for, for killing them or harming them. And we're going to hold that hostage for any money that goes to average people. John Cornyn, the senator from Texas, just came right out and said it.